Hello, in this video I will show you how to launch website on STM32. Uh, first of all, let's try to find some examples of existing websites on uh, microcontrollers. You see that these websites look like plain HTML uh, web pages, and obviously they do not look like the sites you are familiar with. Moreover, the sites often use periodically page refresh to implement dynamic data, which also doesn't look like nice. Uh, well, let's launch a website on STM32 and we start with Linux. You can see JavaScript, CSS, uh, HTML and other folders. Uh, let's launch Python HTTP server. Now you can type this URL in your browser. Well, uh, the site looks better. Uh, it's implement gyro sensor and LEDs. Uh, These LEDs are implemented in uh, Python. So it's just a uh, CGI script written in Python. Let's take a look. It's located in CGI bin folder. Now when you press for for example let number three, the script will store uh, its state to let's txt file. Uh, this site also has system page with data and processes list. Well, let's try to launch the same site on STM32. I have STM32 F4 discovery board. It contains four LEDs and also I connected gyroscope sensor. To launch the same site under inbox, uh, we need to add my build file which describes this folder structure. And now we need to upload uh, the correspondent website configuration. And now we can build the project. I have already pre-built binary and I uploaded this binary to STM32 so I will use it. Let's reboot our board. You can see inbox is started and HTTP server is launched also well. And you can enter our website uh, from your browser type in uh, STM32 IP address. So you can see the site, the site looks uh, the same as on Linux, but now demo page contains real LEDs and real gyroscope sensor. When you press LEDs, they turn on on STM32. You can also move your board and see how angular rate changes. Uh, we also have a system page. It contains um, data and a list of tasks in inbox. You can see the current date is incorrect, is incorrect and uh, let's change it with NTP date command. It's uh, also available under Linux. It uh, obtains uh, current time from NTP server. Now you can see it's correct. You can just compare it with my laptop. Also, let's take a look how list of tasks will change when we launch, for example, ticker command. Now there are six tasks in system. Now five. Well, and let's uh, remain in the states as it was before. Thank you for your attention.